tonight's 21st Monday Night Football game in Arrowhead Stadium history. Hey, it's October. The stadium is crazy red. Two teams that hope to hunt for a special season. <laughs> Kareem Hunt tries it right at the middle and he gets pounded right away and driven down. The Chiefs have an injured player on this snap. It's Duvernay Tardy, their most consistent offensive lineman, is down with an injury. Oh. What happened, Larry? I put my MCL. What? I heard a pup, my MCL. Your MCL, okay. Yeah. Lay flat, buddy. Lay flat for me. Is there anything else? No, it's just my MCL. Injuries happen in the NFL, but very few people can accurately diagnose one as quickly as the Chiefs' Laurent Duvernay Tardif, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, I'm a medical student at McGill University, uh, almost graduating. I'm on track to graduate in May 2018. For the past three years, Duvernay Tardif has been studying to become a doctor while playing in the NFL. Training camp start, I do the whole football season focusing only on football and training. And then as soon as the season's over, I fly back to Montreal and I start medical school. It's every 30 seconds. And every year I'm doing between three and four months of medical school. And then I go to OTAs for two months, come back to Canada for another month of medical school over the summer and then report to training camp and start over again. This is the story of a boy who studied in Canada, and now he's in America living, how you say, the dream. The American dream. According to my teammates, uh, I speak one language and a half because my accent... Follow me at LDT 76. <laughs> but I like to think I'm bilingual and speak French and English, yeah. I was born in Mont Saint-Hilaire, which is a small town 45 minutes outside of Montreal. I spent my whole childhood in this mountain. My parents just told me to like touch everything, you know, so I was doing badminton, basketball, I was playing violin, I played piano for six years as well. I grew up like running here, cross-country skiing here. I just love being outside. Of all the activities Duvernay Tardif partook in as a kid, one is blatantly missing. So my relationship with football was kind of touch and go. Uh, I started a little bit when I was like 14, uh, but then we went on a sailboat trip, so I had to stop for a year. His parents took his family on a sailing trip to the Bahamas and back that lasted an entire year. We went on the first one, I was like 11, and the second one I was like 15. It was not one of those like big crews where you, everything's included, you know, we were on a 35 foot long boat. My dad, my mom and I were doing rotation to pilot and drive the boat and also make the adjustment with the sails and everything. When I really started with football was like when I was 16. The more I played, the more I developed a passion towards football. When I was like 17, I was like, you know what, uh, I think I want to be a doctor. And, uh, and from that point on, it was all about getting the grades. He didn't just get the grades. He was accepted to one of the most prestigious schools in Canada, McGill University, to both study medicine and play football. You know, in Canada, the whole season was only eight games. So I was basically with medical school practicing one times a week. Playing professionally was a long shot, but Duvernay Tardif found med school helped put him on the NFL's radar. The Shriner Hospital that is based in Montreal it, are kind of the one, I think, who pushed for uh, my name to get into the Shrine game, which is you get the best guys from the East, best guys from the West, they go against each other and they're getting coached by NFL personnel. And that's really what put me on the map in the NFL. So uh, I like to say that medical school really helped me to get into the NFL through the Shriner, which is an awesome organization. Welcome to the 2014 NFL Draft. It is time to get things rolling. The Friday of the draft. I was basically working on the floor that has an OR and we're taking care of premature baby. There might have been a chance that I was going to go in the third round, so I was trying to get out of the OR quickly enough to catch the beginning of the draft. We begin tonight with round two. The Houston Texans are now on the clock. And next thing you know, there's an emergency C-section for two premature twins. Just before walking into the OR, I gave my cell phone to one of the nurses and I just told her, like, you know what, maybe somebody's gonna call and if they do, just say yes. And I ended up staying all night and I missed the second and third round and when I walked out, I was like, oh my God, that could have, like, happened. Of course, nobody drafted me because I went in the sixth round the next day. The Chiefs just finished up their draft by drafting a Canadian, Laurent Duvernay, Duvernay Tardif. Tardif.
And he, by the way, he's got some ability, that kid. I remember talking to Coach Reed and Coach Heck in the pre-draft process, and those two really understood what I was trying to do and really respected my, my plan. And, and I think that's why uh, I end up in Kansas City. Nice job. Keep rolling. Stay close now, right? Stay close. Making the jump to the NFL, Duvernay Tardif spent a year on the sideline adjusting to pro-level play. There's just so much study and so much preparation that goes in every game. Uh, you gotta, you got to learn the playbook for each game. you got to watch film. you got to take note. I take actually more note in football than I do in medical school, which is kind of interesting. After my 2014 season, I went back to medical school. And during that time, I really like told myself, you know what, I'm going to train in order to, to try to get the starting job next season. I grind my way through training camp, and I got that huge opportunity that first game against the Houston Texans. Coach Reed put me on the starting lineup as a right guard. There's nothing like opening day. Chiefs will receive, and away we go. I remember that first play of my career, uh, Will Fork uh, was lining up in the A-gap and I was running an outside zone to the left and, uh, and he jumped offside on the first play. Will Fork jumped and Will Fork makes the stop. I was like, oh my God, this guy is so fast, even though he's so big. And, and then I, I turned around and I saw the flag on the field, but I was so scared of the first play. I was like, oof. Duvernay Tardif wasn't scared after that. From then on, he solidified his starting spot on the Chiefs' offensive line. The Ray Duvernay Tardif, he had a terrific training camp. He has had an awesome start. He's 24 and three in the last 27 Kansas City starts. Those feeling to step on the field, that adrenaline rush, for those kind of moments that you train really hard into the offseason and that you, you try to combine medical school and all that, it's, it's to, to have the chance to go back on the field and, and, and win as a team. The teamwork and lessons from the football field helped Duvernay Tardif in the operating room, and vice versa. It's hard to believe that there's a lot of similarity between uh, football and medical school, but there are actually things that really help me, and one of them is learning how to lose with football. As the Kansas City Chiefs lose this divisional playoff round game at home. Especially in the emergency department, to assess a patient and then move on to the next one, even though the outcomes were not exactly what you wanted, it's hard to do. And I, and I think football really helps you do that because on a week-to-week -week basis, you gotta be able to like forget about what happened, learn from your mistake, and then prepare for the next opponent. Even with the added task of returning from an injury, Duvernay Tardif is still focused on achieving all his goals. You know, I think I've been through a lot over the past four years. I want to graduate from medical school, uh, but I also realize I have a lot of football left. Watch this offensive line and what they clear here. Levant Duvernay Tardy, look at that block. He's considered one of the better guards in the league, not just on the Kansas City Chiefs. The final goal is to get my MD from McGill University and, and be the first NFL football player to, to step on a field in 2018 with MD in the back of my jersey.